Michael Novogratz. He has some advice. Read it on the screen. Go do something different. Get on a motorcycle and travel through India and take photographs. Create a story where you learn something. I'm a big fan of the gap year. He's saying take that year off, a gap year as they call it in Europe actually. Let's bring in our millennials, BlackRock Group's Lisa Booth and Turning Point USA founder Charlie Kirk. All right, Charlie, um, seems that this guy's a billionaire. He's talking to students just graduating and says get out there and travel. Not everybody can do that with a millstone of debt around their neck. What do you make of this? No, that's a great point. However, I think he was making a broader uh, argument about a gap year before or after college and he's seeing just the same type of I would argue a corporate cardboard cutout type of graduate that's coming and they have the same resume and they have the same type of background and he's saying you know where's the differentiation where's that rugged entrepreneurialism spirit that really used to differentiate America from the rest of the world and I would say having a gap year whether before you enter college or after you enter the uh, after you graduate could really add a lot of value not just to yourself entering the job market sure. but who you are as a person and really use what you learned in college in, in, in the real world and then be able to reconsider different perspectives uh, from a global perspective and I think he makes a great point and well, let's ask ourselves is the current way we're doing things really helping our uh, the generation at large. I have to tell you Charlie that that's exactly what I did after I left college I simply never went back to England. Now Lisa Booth um, what do you make of this the gap year get out there and travel after college what do you make of it? Well it sounds great in theory but I think when putting it in practice it's incredibly difficult for the majority of Americans. I mean if you look at the unemployment rate for Americans between the ages of 20 to 29 they, they, they increased significantly for individuals with, for, with a four-year degree from years 2013 to 2014. If you look at those individuals that did receive a four-year uh, degree, it increased from, I believe, around 11 percent to 12.4 percent. If you look at those with bachelor's degrees, it creeped up to almost 15 percent last year. So I think it's incredibly difficult for you know, students to do that who, who need to get into the job market because it but, is incredibly but difficult. Lisa, job hold market. on a second. Lisa, do you think it's a good idea, the idea of getting off finding yourself? Okay, you might not be able I don't, I don't to do think it. It's in principle, is it a good idea? Well, I think in principle, but I don't think it's practical. And then, Stuart, if you also, as you mentioned, the student loan debt, the, the class of 2015 is going to be the most indebted class ever. You know, the average student who took out a student loan is going to owe around $35,000. So if you owe that kind of money, I think it's going to be incredibly difficult to go and take a year off and to go True. and travel. All right, Charlie, right. I have to tell you that 68% of students graduating expect and want help from their mom and dad. What about what does that do to a gap year? So, so I think that the gap year argument uh, it really should be focused on right out of high school more so than out of college. And you look at statistics: uh, students that do take a gap year before entering college uh, end up being more mature, more self-reliant, and less dependent on their parents or even government entities upon graduation. And I think it's more practical. Let's let's do a hypothetical really quick. What if you spend ten thousand dollars and travel the world and have many different experiences or take a ten thousand dollars in student loan debt and maybe get a degree that doesn't matter right out of high school? I think you know having real world experience is much more uh, much more practical and relatable in the in this job market. Very interesting discussion and we thank you both. Lisa Booth, Charlie Cook, thanks for being with us. A good discussion.